Make some noise for Jacqueline, but don't call me Jackie, Fleming. Jacqueline Fleming! <laughs> another time? No, I'm gonna say what I got to say. I cannot see you anymore. I understand. Good luck. You know, if you got something to say about how I take care of my child, I'm just curious. <laughs> A few lessons and I'll have you dipping like Fred Astaire. <laughs> Hotel. Oh, yes, did I tell you that we're gonna be shooting some steamy scenes in the hotel? Oh, huh? sure. Hi, I'm Sabrina, and you are? Eating, ignoring him, and planning on leaving soon. <laughs> oh, I have something for us to do every minute. We're going parasailing, jet skiing, and scuba diving with sharks. Jack's Acting Studio, home of Jacqueline Fleming. Actress, coach, mentor, entrepreneur. Just a glimpse of the passionate and highly successful actress with 30 major motion pictures to her credit. From the silver screen to the sitcom, Jacqueline has accomplished what most actors only dream about. This is your opportunity to work with Jacqueline, who has dedicated her life to inspiring others. Jack's acting studio was created as a haven to foster creativity in anyone who truly wants to act. From the beginner to the seasoned actor, Jacqueline offers her students hands-on, one-on-one workshops for film and TV, improv, voice acting, along with accomplished guest speakers, showcases, and more. From the acting studio to the audition, Jack's acting studio is bringing Hollywood to New Orleans. I'm an actress and student at Jacqueline Fleming's acting studio. I've been around for about, I've been at the studio for around six months. Um, since then, I've landed a movie and filmed in local New Orleans and a sitcom in Atlanta, my parents, my sister and me, directed by Debbie Allen. Um, I don't think I would be here if it wasn't for Jacqueline, Flem for Miss Jacqueline. Uh, within the month, I was auditioning for Treme, got a call back, if I must say so, <clears throat> with all due modesty, I nailed it, you know, I nailed it, you know what I'm telling you? And got called back um, for a second interview and did that interview in front of David Simon, the creator uh, of Treme uh, and the director and some more HBO executives and uh, <clears throat> once again, with all due modesty, I nailed it again. So, uh, and, and it was all due to um, doing in, in, in a huge portion to the seminar that I took over here at Jack's Acting Studio. This is a six week class, come another six weeks, because every time you're gonna get something out of it. That's study, it. study, 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 study. If you have a casting director and he turns that resume over, and he sees that you're studying, he'll call call you in, Tasha, let me see Tamika, let me see Donna, or let me see this person or that person. Because he sees that you're trying and you're constantly studying. But if I give him a headshot, and I will never do that, but if I give him a headshot and he just sees nothing, that you're not going to school for, you're not studying, why should he call you in? I'm here at Jack's Acting Studio. It's a great place. I just happened to hear about it over the radio call, and I got to speak directly to Miss Fleming, and it was a great, great, great experience. She told me to come on in, and it was a one-on-one -on -one between me and her, and it wasn't, you know, uh, a thing that she put on blast. She made me feel real comfortable. She she let me know that if I was willing to work hard, that she was willing to work hard, and. That means a lot when you come from the bottom and you really don't have the type of funds or you think you don't have the look or whatever you think you don't have, she's there to back you up. And it's great and everything that I've gotten from this school so far has been outstanding. She also helped me with everything that I would need for us the packaging. She got me headshots, she got me the agent, she got me everything that I can possibly need at the best prices, working with the best people, and she also has a lot of connections in Hollywood that you might, you know, want to look into. And I was so impressed with these uh, little kids being able to handle handle the material so well. And after that first day, I'm coming, I'm coming back, and I'm starting to assist with teaching these students and 
It is such a progressive program at the studio that I'm, su I'm honestly surprised that the kids are so dedicated to everything that Jack has to say and all the input that she puts in. I think the work her studio is doing is great. Um, she really is trying to bridge the gap between mainstream film and fringe film. And that's a wonderful thing because there are so many talented actors I've come into contact with in this city and they deserve a chance to work in film. Well, while I've been here, I went around talking to the kids at different schools about acting and they all kept asking me, where can you train? Where can you study? And I just felt like there was a need, especially post Katrina, a lot of people didn't come back. And there's some great places here to study, but I just felt like people just didn't know where to go or how to get in the business. So I decided that I wanted to open up an acting studio. Just create a place where it's kind of a, um, a information base for parents and for students. So at my studio, you have an opportunity to train. We work from film and television material, and it's in a really, really intense program. My students work really hard. And then I bring in uh, guest speakers from Los Angeles, because I think it's important to expose students to other people outside of New Orleans. And I also um, have a photographer that works with my studio. He takes amazing headshots. His name is Jamil Jones over at www.jkphotography.com. And so my students end up taking these classes, they get these amazing headshots, and then I bring in an agent to see their work in classes, and my students have been getting signed up. So everything is just happening in one place, and they're out auditioning, and they're actually booking. So that's a testament to what's going on over here. They're booking movies, print jobs, commercials. You know, this is just an amazing experience, and I did not plan on this. I just came out for a New Year's Eve party. I just felt like I didn't want to leave them, you know, without any way to really pursue their dreams. And um, I felt like I could help them do that. So my, it's, it's like home over here. We have fun, we laugh, we hang out in the kitchen, you know, and then we go to uh, work in the class. And they work hard, and I demand that you work really hard. It takes a lot of discipline and a lot of focus and a lot of determination to be a great actor. Reverend, there's something I'd like to talk to you about. Oh, sure. We can discuss just about anything, right? I don't consider rap music. All these people talk about is weed and money and calling and shooting up people. And sweetheart, those things have nothing to do with music. You all damn. I really hate these damn answering shits. I have some really bad news. God, I'm just gonna say it. Michael and a friend of his was in a fatal car accident early this morning. I thought I told you to get a couple of dances. Yeah, I got a couple of short ones, I got a couple of tall ones. Isn't that Mercedes and Max's dance instructor? Sylvia? Dr. Stanton? 